All right, and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Monte Carlo simulations and using MATLAB to run model uh, Monte Carlo simulations. Um, and then I'm going to go through two examples of some Monte Carlo sims. A Monte Carlo simulation is a computerized mathematical technique used to solve experiments and problems um, that are typically difficult or even impossible. Uh, they're used in fields of mathematics, physics, and engineering. Uh, they're used for optimization, numerical integration, used to model complex systems with many degrees of freedom, such as fluids uh, and certain materials. Uh, they can model kinetic models of gases, etc. Uh, they're used in engineering for microelectronics and fluid dynamics and signals and artificial intelligence. They're used in uh, in video games and uh, video game AI. They're used in business and finance for estimating best and worst case and risk analysis. And yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to uh, write up some simple Monte Carlo simulations in MATLAB. Okay, so the first problem we're going to look at is we want to estimate the probability that five randomly dealt cards from a fair deck of 52 cards are all hearts. We're going to run the simulation 100,000 times, and we're going to compare it to the theoretical probability. So the theoretical probability of drawing a hand of five hearts is given as 0 0.0049116, and we want to use a Monte Carlo simulation, run it a hundred thousand times, and see how close we can get to this uh, theoretical probability. So the first step that I'm going to do in the simulation is create a variable um, that will say how many times we're going to run the simulation. So it's called number of runs. And I'm just going to set it equal to 100,000 um, because I want to run the simulation 100,000 times. Uh, this just makes it easy for, say, when you want to uh, increase the number of uh, the number of uh, trials, or if you want to decrease it, then you all you have to do is change the this variable variable up here because we're going to be using a lot of loops, and we're going to be running loops and creating arrays of a hundred thousand elements so instead of changing all of them we're just going to change one number up at the beginning and then i'm going to create an array of one hundred thousand zeros or so it's going to be an array or, or a matrix of zero so i'm going to use zero function it's going to create a one row it's going to create a matrix one row matrix with a number of runs columns so in this case it's a hundred thousand and this is just going to be, uh, keep track of how many times we've drawn a full hand of all hearts so for example um, say on the third run of this, on the third trial of the simulation, I get a full hand of hearts. Then I'm going to set the third column of this matrix equal to one. If I didn't get a whole hand of hearts, then I'm going to have it equal, keep it equal to zero. And then we're going to add it up later and divide by <clears throat> the number of runs, and that will give us our estimated probability. So. We're going to run, want to run this 100,000 times, so I'm, we're going to create a for loop that's going to go from 1 to the number of runs. And then I'm going to create another variable called deck, which is going to use the rand perm function in, built in MATLAB which is going to, and I'm going to put the number 52. So this is going to, so deck is an array of 52 elements and random perm is going to fill in this array 
uh, with a random permutation of the numbers 1 through 52. So I'm also going to set another variable called number of cards drawn. And I'm going to set this equal to 5. So this just makes it easier if you want to um, run the simulation and you want to draw four cards or you want to draw six cards. So instead of, in our case, we're going to draw five, the top five cards. And then I'm going to create another variable. This is going to, this is going to take the first five cards of our deck. It's going to draw the first card, the second card, the third card, all the way up until the number of cards drawn. In this case, it's going to be five. So this is going to draw the top five cards of the deck. And then I'm going to have another variable called count. And this is going to count how many of the cards that were drawn are hearts. And we're going to initialize it as zero. And in another for loop for i equal to one number of cards drawn, and we're going to say that if Inside our hand of cards, that we call draw, if the index i, so from 1 to 5, if that card is less than 13, then we're going to count, we're going to increment count. The reason I'm using 13 here, and so the idea is, I have, so in our deck, we have a random permutation of the numbers one through 52. And you have to have some way of signifying which cards go with which suit. So in this case, I only care about hearts. So either a card is a heart or it's not a heart. And so what I'm, so there's four suits in a deck, 52 divided by four is 13. So I'm saying that the first 13 numbers, so from 1 to 13, these are all hearts. And from 14 to 52, these are all not hearts. So if we draw a card and it's less than or equal to 13, then we're going to increment our count. And our count just says how many hearts in the draw in our hand that we have. Okay, so this is going to count how many, this for loop is going to count how many uh, hearts we have in our hand. And then we're going to create another if statement, say if count is equal to num of cards drawn. So what this is going to do is it's going to see if we've drawn a full hand of hearts. So if count this variable up here, if it's equal to five, then we're going to set this, this huge array that we made earlier. So the element that corresponds to the trial that we're in, say we're in the first trial. If in our first trial we get all hearts, then it's going to set the first element of this all heart array. It's going to be set to uh, one, and that means we got one full hand of heart of hearts. Else, it's going to say all hearts is equal to zero. And end. So this is actually not this else is not necessary um, because it's already a, it, it's already a zero 
in this case, and we're just going to set it to one if it's if we draw all hearts. But I'm just going to keep it in there for simplicity. Okay, so we're going to run that a hundred. We're going to run this for loop a hundred thousand times, and then we're going to sum up how many uh, hands of hearts that we've drawn. So we're going to sum all the ones in this array and then we're gonna we're gonna calculate the estimated probability of drawing all hearts we're gonna say this is equal to p this is how many uh, hands of hearts we've drawn divided by the number of runs okay and then we will run that and see if there's any errors so the function, the MATLAB function is actually zeros. Okay, so we're gonna run this simulation and see what our estimated probability comes out. The estimated probability we're getting is 4.8 e to the minus four, uh, which is pretty close to the theoretical 4.9 e to the minus four. We can run it again. We have 4.2, 3.8, 4.3 and 6.1. We could run this a couple thousand times and then calculate the average and I, I suspect we'd get pretty close to our theoretical probability. I mean these are already pretty close but if we want even a better estimate we could calculate an average 